Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today I am going to solve Cambridge IGCSE uh, Mathematics Paper 2 Extended. So we have the subject code 0580 22 is variant for the session of my June 2023. We have one or 30 minutes for this paper and this paper is carrying 70 marks for the uh, question paper. Okay, we are allowed we have uh, been instructed that geometric instruments are be used you should use a calculator where appropriate okay find the temperature we will start our paper from the question number one find the temperature that is eight degree colder than minus five degrees celsius so it is eight degree colder it means we're gonna subtract minus five from minus c our answer would be minus 13 degree celsius now next question there are two prime numbers in the list 27 47 57 61 75 and 93 we know that multiples of 5 are never a prime number multiple of 3s uh, 93 is also not a prime number and uh, 27 9 3 is a 27 this is also not a prime number 57 uh, also comes in the table of threes so 47 and 61 are the two prime numbers so we're gonna write 47 and 61 and we need to make a sum of it 47 plus 61 our answer would be 108 for this question 108 moving to question number three okay on 10 days stephen records the number of minutes he has he has to wait for a train 1 3 12 5 4 23 5 24 11 8 complete the stem and leaf diagram to show this information this is an easy question of stem and leaf, leaf diagram 0. The only number that 0 plus 1 is 0, 0, 3 and rest of the number 4 would come here, 5 would come here, only unitary numbers would come here, 4, 5 and 2 times 5. So we're going to write 4, 5, 5 and 8. Now 1, this 11 would come here and 12 would come here one 11 is one here so one is missing once 12 is one here so two is missing so we're gonna write over two here next is 20 20 figures are like this 23 and 24 so we're gonna write over here three three and four so this is over complete answer N moving to the next part find the median okay we know that total numbers are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 it means uh, we have 10 even numbers so four numbers are coming over here 1 2 3 4 and 1 2 3 4 so these two would be over central two numbers and these two central number have an addition of 5 plus 8 our answer would be 13 then 13 divided by 2 our answer would be 6.5 so the median would be 6.5 13 by 2 or 6.5 so you're gonna write like that now moving to the question number 4 question number 4 is from the mapping and the scale question the distance from town a to town b on a map is 3.5 centimeter the scale on the map is 1 ratio to lakh 50,000 find the actual distance in kilometers from town a to town b so this the simple question 1 over 250 0 0 1 is ratio of this and this and 3.5 is the on the map and actual we can say actual or x over here now dealing 
with it multiplying cross multiplying 3.5 multiply by 2 lakh 50 thousand our answer would be 8 7 5 3 0 centimeter converting into the kilometer we need to divide by 100 100 it will convert into meters then divide by thousand so it will convert into kilometer and this would be 8.75 kilometer i am writing over here 875 triple zero you're going to divide by 100 and also by thousand by dividing 100 it is converted into meter and dividing again by thousand it converted into kilometers so 8.75 would be our answer moving to the question number five question number five is okay now you can see that question number five is a spinner is spun the possible outcomes are a b c or d this is the question of probability the probability of spinning a c or d is shown in the table a probability is 0.2 b probability we need to find out and c probability is 0.05 and d probability is 0.35 so you're gonna take uh, subtract from value of 1 because we know that the total of all the probabilities must be equal to 1 so 1 minus 0.2 plus 0.05 plus 0 uh, plus 0 0.35 so our answer would be 0 0.4 so the probability would be 0 0.4 now moving to question number six question number six belongs to the topic of sets universal set x uh, such that one is less than or equal to x and x is less than or equal to 20. e is even number two four six eight and uh, two four six till ten, uh, 20 till the numbers would come here two four six and till 20 5 m is the multiple of 5 and multiple of 5 would be 5 10 15 and 20 find the number of n and this is the answer it would be 4 and these number would be 5 10 15 or 20 or you can write the number 4 okay find the elements in the set of e intersection m the same would be 10 and 20 because 10 and 20 are the even numbers so we are writing over here the intersection of e and m e intersection m means that both should carry the same elements now why doesn't belong to e write down the possible value of y why doesn't belong to e it means that it is not an even number and if it's not an even number it could be any value uh, that, that would be not an even number so i could write 13 or you can write any other number as well that is not an even number so moving to question number seven question number ten, seven is required to do without the calculator without using a calculator work out four by seven divide by one whole five by 21 first we need to convert this fraction into uh, mixed fraction into simple fraction one to one multiply by 21 is 21 21 plus 5 is 26 26 by 21 is the fraction so we're gonna solve it like that 4 divided by 7 divide by 26 over 21 by taking reciprocal of it the fraction would become like that 21 over 26 7 3s are 21 and this could be 2 and this would be 13 it would be 2 multiplied by 3 6 over 13 so 6 over 13 would be our answer for this part moving to question number 8 question number 8 is from the topic of algebra it is a simple solving question 30 over x is equal to 60 and then 30 over 6 would be x then x would be 5 the x six five is a thirty that's why this 
x is equal to 5 this is the simple question now we will move to its b part b part is from the inequality topic 11 minus 3 11 x minus 3 greater than or equal to 2 into 2 x plus 9 so we're going to solve it like that 11 now multiplying 2 by 8 4 x plus 18 11 x 11 x minus 4 x and 18 plus 3 so 11 minus 4 it would be 7 x and this would be 21 7 is divided by 21 is divided by 7 x is less than or equal to 3 this would be our final answer for this part of the question so x is greater than or equal to 3 moving to the next question question number 9 question number 9 is from the topic of vectors okay yes f is a point 1 minus 4 and fg is 8 minus 3 and gh is minus 12 35 find 3 of fg it means we need to multiply 3 to 8 minus 3 3 is are 24 and 3 minus 3 would be minus 9 so our answer would be 24 minus 9 moving to its b part fg plus gh fg fg is given that is 8 minus 3 gh is also given that is minus 12 and 35 we're gonna add them 8 minus 12 answer would be 4 and minus 3 plus 35 answer would be 32 so the final answer would be 4 minus 4 and 32 moving to its c part the coordinates of g so we know that og would be equal to fg plus o of and fg is given 8 minus 3 or f is also given plus 1 minus 4 answer would be 9 minus 7 so we're gonna write over here 9 minus 7 moving to its d part the magnitude of vector gh this is also the simple question we need to find this magnitude uh, magnitude of gh gh value is minus 12 and 35 which is given in the question so how are we going to calculate the magnitude it would be like that minus 12 square plus 35 square and the answer would be 37 so the value of g h magnitude would be 37 so this was the question of vectors now we will move to the next question question number 10 question number 10 is the top uh, is the topic from the transformation i hope you can see this question in the diagram okay describe fully the single transformation that maps shape o a onto shape b it, it the question is carrying two marks it means we need to state two points of it okay first we need to see that is this a translation of axis or rotation or transformation or reflection so this is the single transformation uh, and the shape is not rotated but it is reflection this is the reflection if we put the mirror over here it would represent like this so this would be our reflection so we're gonna write over here reflection and the reflection is at word reflection on this line this line is like that this 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 and this line would be y is equal to 2 so, so reflection along y is equal to 2 this would be over answer for party now part b is 
rotate shape A 90 degree clockwise about the point minus 1 and 2. So we need to rotate this shape minus 1 and 2 uh, minus 1 and 2. What is the point of minus 1 and 2? This would be our point minus 1 and 2. And how much we need to rotate? We, we need to rotate it uh, clockwise 90 degree. It means we're gonna turn the shape 90 degree like that. At this point, we're gonna turn this shape into this. So after turning this point, or you can use tracing paper for this, you put tracing paper over here and trace this, these lines and moving tracing paper to 90 degree, the shape would be like, uh, like that. It would be two minus two, this point and this point this point and this point so it would be like that it would be like that okay so you can say this shape or to C and A or you can simply move this shape turn 90 degree and from you can count the boxes 1 2 3 4 and literally the boxes would be 1 2 3 4 and it is moving one side up then to move one side left it would be this and from here these are two places down it means we need to move because it is rotated 90 degrees so we need to move two boxes to the left so we move the two boxes now after it it is tilting towards right but it is rotated so we need to tilt towards left here and two boxes would be rotated because it is two boxes now here is the horizontal line because it is 90 degree rotated so it would be vertical line of two boxes it is a horizontal line of two boxes this is a vertical so this is other method in which you do not have to use the tracing paper but you can calculate like that now moving to a C part, hopefully you have uh, the proper understanding of this. I have explained it properly. Enlarge the shape A by the scale factor of minus two center at two zero. So first we need to show where is the center. Center at this point would be two zero, two zero. So this would be our center. Okay, this is the simple question of scale factor minus two. First, we need to find these points. This, it is moving towards the right. So, its x coordinate would be 1. And its y coordinate would be, because it is moving up, so it would be 1. It would be like that. From this, we have to measure each corner of this point. Okay. I am showing again. This is this point is we need to move to the right side so we are taking plus one we need to move to the upside we are taking one for this point we are moving down and to the right so x-axis would be positive but it is moving down so y-axis would be negative that would be minus one similarly we need to find the other points as well so this point this point is moving 2 towards right and 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 towards the bottom. So it would be minus 3. Now on this point, this point is moving 4 towards the right and minus 3 downward. So this is all. Now we need to multiply by the scale factor. Scale factor in the question was provided that was of value of minus 2. So we're going to multiply these coordinates by minus 2. By multiplying minus 2, we would get the new coordinates. It would be minus 2 and minus 2. And this would be multiplied by minus 2. Our new coordinates for it would be 8 and minus 6. And this would be multiplying by minus 2. 
we would get minus 4 so we have to write minus 8 and plus 6 over here okay it would be minus 4 and plus 6 so by multiplying it minus 2 it would be minus 2 and plus 2 now we move these points by uh, calculating from these coordinates from here so if it is minus 2 and minus 2 it means we need to move minus 2 left side and minus 2 towards down so it the point would be like minus 2 to the left and minus 2 to the down so this point would be shown over here now this point minus 2 to the left so we move to the minus 2 left and 2 to the up because this is positive so this so this line would be like that now we need to draw these line as well this is minus 8 and plus 6 so we need to move minus 8 to the left by moving minus 8 to the left we will go to minus 6 and then we need to move positive 6 so upward by like that okay now we need to draw this line minus 4 by minus 4 we will reach to the point over here and we need to go to the 6 point up so 6 point up would be like that now we need to plot these points so it would be like that So this is how we have enlarged that shape by the factor of 2 and taking center at 2 and 0. I am going to repeat each step for this part only. Okay, it would be like that. First we note down the coordinates. So from these boxes then multiplying it by minus 2 because our factor by minus 2 and new points would be calculated and uh, from this distance considering this over new center at 2 at 0 and we have calculated these coordinates from this center okay now we will move to the question number 11 question number 11 is from the topic of sector the diagram shows a shape a b c d formed by the sector of two circles with the same center at O. Both sector angles are 140 degree. OC is equal to 3.2 centimeter and CB is equal to 2.6 centimeter. The area of the shape is K pi centimeter square. Okay, find the value of K. We know that area of a sector has a formula <coughs> and we need to subtract uh, both these values. So it would be like that area of sector for the large shape uh, and we know that this angle is 140 degree and it would be used for both the uh, sector area and the formula for the area of sector a1 bigger minus a2 that would be smaller sector area and how are we gonna calculate it theta over 360 multiply by pi r square r capital r would be 3.2 plus 2.6 so it would be 5.8 centimeter so and we're gonna subtract it from here minus theta over 360 multiplied by pi r square so after substituting those value 140 over 360 multiplied by pi and the value of capital r is we know that it's 5.8 we have calculated 3.2 plus 2.6 it would be 5.8 and subtracting it from 140 over 360 multiply by pi and value of r is for the small radius is 3.2 square after putting those value this answer would be 41.099 and this would be 12.51 after subtracting those values 
answer will be 12.51 now we need to calculate the value of k how are we gonna calculate by simply set no our answer would be like that 41 uh, 28.5 5.88 so it would be like that k pi is equal to 28.588 and dividing pi over here would be our answer 9.099 so gonna round off 9.1 so value of k is 9.1 So this is how we have completed question number 11 now moving to the question number 12 one solution of the equations of uh, is ax square plus b is equal to 181 is x is equal to 8 a and b are the greater uh, both the positive integers and greater than 1 find the value of b by simply we are going to substitute our value over here a 8 square plus b is equal to 81 181 so it would be 64 a plus b is equal to 181 now we're gonna suppose our value of a because both are the positive integer let a is equal to 2 you can take any other value as well like a is equal to 3 but we're gonna use like that a is equal to 2 64 into 2 plus b is equal to 181 then b would be 181 minus 128 the value of b would be 53 but if you take a value a is equal to 3 our b value become negative uh, you're gonna check if you want to check but i'm mm, telling you that it uh, the answer would be negative but our hint was that both values should be positive so we cannot substitute value of three so we will move to the next part of the question 2x square plus write down the other solution of the equation ax square plus b is equal to 181 so we're gonna substitute those values uh, which was given 2 value of a would be 2 x square plus b value just calculated 53 is equal to 181 then 2x square is equal to 181 minus 53 our answer would be 2x square is equal to 128 then x square is equal to 64 taking the square root of x x is equal to plus minus 8 so our answer would be plus minus 8 so other solution would be plus 8 or because one solution was given minus 8 so other solution would be minus 8 now moving to the next part question number 13 question number 13 is from the circle properties okay this is a simple question a b and c d are the points of a circle a b is parallel to okay you can now see the diagram a b c d are the points on the circle a b is parallel to d c we can see that an angle a c d is 32 chords a c and d b intersect at e find the value of x so first we uh, can say that this if this is 32 this is the line angle making in the same segment this would also be 32 and we can say that this is a e and e b would be equal in length because both are cutting by the same transversal line so this angle would also be 32 so using that property of triangle that every every triangle have a sum of 180 degrees so we're gonna subtract minus 32 and minus 32 to get the other angle 180 minus 64 answer would be 116 so the value x would be 116 for this now next question next question is from the topic of functions question number 14 
एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स प्लस टू फाइंड एफ इन वर्स ऑफ एक्स सो फर्स्ट लेट वाई इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स प्लस टू देन वी नीड टू मेक एक्स ओवर सब्जेक्ट वाई माइनस टू इज इज इक्वल टू फाइव एक्स देन एक्स इज इक्वल टू वाई माइनस टू ओवर फाइव दी गन रिप्लेस एक्स to f inverse of x and value of y to x so x minus 2 over 5 would be over answer for the value of inverse now moving to the next part question number 15 next question question number 15 question number 15 is from the topic of coordinate geometry it is simply find the midpoint of cd so formula midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 uh, y plus y1 plus y2 divided by 2 so 5 plus 13 divided by 2 okay now you can see and other point would be what y x is minus 1 plus 15 divided by 2 so our answer Here would be eighteen divided by two nine, fourteen divided by two seven. So the midpoint have the value of nine and seven. Find the gradient of CD. We know that the formula for the gradient is y two minus y one over x two minus x one. So this would be our formula: fifteen minus minus one and x two thirteen minus one. It would be fifteen plus one sixteen sixteen over. Thirteen minus five. Okay, it would be eight. So our answer would be two. So the value of the gradient m is equal to two. Moving to a C part, find the equation of the perpendicular bisector of C. Give your answer in the form of y is equal to m x plus c. So we already know that perpendicular line would have a gradient of taking the reciprocal of two. It would be minus one by two. you can also calculate from this formula when the two lines are perpendicular their product should be minus 1 so if the one line has a gradient of 2 taking the reciprocal of 2 would be 1 by 2 and multiplying it minus 1 it would be minus 1 so perpendicular line has a gradient of this and we're going to use this point the midpoint because perpendicular bisector cut the line equally so 9 so we're going to apply this equation by minus y1 Is equal to m into x minus x one, so y minus y one. Y one would be seven, and minus one by two x minus x one. X one would be nine. So after uh, cross multiplying two y minus fourteen, it would be minus x plus nine. So equation would be like that. Two y is equal to minus x plus twenty three. I am completing rest of the question here. Two y is uh, then dividing by two. It would be minus one by two x plus twenty three by two. So the our final answer would be minus x by two plus twenty three by two. And this is in terms of y is equal to m x plus c. So this was the our required answer. Now, question number sixteen. Question number sixteen belongs to the recurring decimal. This is a new topic, including in IGCSE and O level syllabus. Both these two syllabuses. Okay, first we need to. If the question is carrying two dots, it means like that it should be let x is equal to zero point six two one. And you can repeat that value two one two one. Then multiplying it by ten x, it would be six point two one two one two one, and so on. You can carry up to infinite. Now we need to multiply it by hundred, so it would become thousand x. And after multiplying it by hundred, it would become six twenty one point two one two one two one. Now we're gonna subtract these two values. So thousand x minus ten x. It would be like that. Six twenty one point two one two one minus six twenty one point two one two one 
माइनस सिक्स पॉइंट टू वन टू वन आंसर बी सिक्स फिफ्टीन एंड दिस वुड बी नाइन नाइन्टी एंड एक्स सो वी गा सॉल्व इट लाइक दैट एक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्स फिफ्टीन ओवर नाइन नाइन्टी और यू कैन डिवाइड दैम बोथ नंबर्स कम इन द सेम टेबल एंड यू कैन सिंप्लीफाई और यू कैन राइट द सिंपल फ्रैक्शन एज वेल लाइक दैट नाइन नाइन्टी आई नो दिस बोथ कैन बी सिंप्लीफाइड कम इन द सेम टेबल बट यू कैन राइट आंसर लाइक दैट एज वेल मूविंग टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवनटीन बिलोंग टू द टॉपिक ऑफ टिग्नोमेट्री द डायग्राम शोज अ ट्राइंगल विद एन अक्यूट एंगल मार्क एट एक्स द एरिया ऑफ द ट्राइंगल इज गिवन टू वन फोर थ्री सेंटीमीटर स्क्वेयर राइट डाउन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स सो द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स शुड बी अप्लाइंग द फार्मूला ए इज इक्वल टू वन ओवर टू ए बी साइन सी सो फार्मूला वुड बी टू वन फोर थ्री एरिया इज गिवन वन बाई टू वन साइड इज नाइन्टी टू पॉइंट फाइव अदर साइड इज सेवेंटी वन द एंगल बिटवीन दैम इज साइन एक्स सो आफ्टर सॉल्विंग इट इट वुड बी लाइक दैट टू वन फोर थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू एंड नाइन्टी 2.5 पॉइंट फाइव मल्टीप्लाई बाई सेवन इट वुड बी इक्वल टू साइन एक्स नॉट टेकिंग साइन इनवर्स ऑफ इट एक्स इज इक्वल टू साइन इनवर्स फोर टू एट सिक्स आफ्टर मल्टीप्लाइंग टू बाई एट एंड बोथ दिस आंसर वुड बी सिक्स फाइव सिक्स सेवन पॉइंट एट Our answer will be forty point seven degrees. So we're gonna write over here forty point seven degrees. This was the easy calculation question. Moving to the next question, question number eighteen. Question number eighteen belongs to the topic of algebra, making x as a subject by cross multiplying. At c, two x minus five is equal to three x. It would be two c x minus five c is equal to three x. So, two c x minus three x is equal to five c. We're gonna take x as a common two c minus three is equal to five c. Now we're gonna divide this five c by two c minus three. This is how we make x as over subject two c minus three. This would be over final answer. Now moving to the next question. This was an easy question. Question number nineteen. Question number nineteen is that m is inversely proportional to the square of t. M is equal to zero point six four and t when t is equal to three. Find m when t is equal to eight. So we know that. is the question of proportional m is inversely proportional to 1 over t plus 2 square then m is equal to k over t plus 2 square so first we need to find the value of k value of m is given that is 0.64 and the value of t is given Three plus two, it would be five. Five plus square is five square is twenty-five. Twenty-five multiplied by zero point six four. Our answer would be k is equal to sixteen. So our equation would be like that: m is equal to sixteen over t plus two whole square. Now find the value of n when t value is. Eight eight plus two is hundred. Sixteen over hundred. Our answer would be zero point one six. So we're gonna write over here our answer zero point one six. Moving to question number twenty. Question number twenty is again from the topic of set. In the Venn diagram, shade the region A intersection B complement uh, intersection C. Okay. 
when b complement would be whole portion would be shaded other than this b circle and when taking common with a intersection it would be this part would be shaded and this from taking c intersection then c and a this part would be shaded so this part we're gonna shade so you're gonna shade and complete your answer like that now moving to question number 21 question number 21 is simple trigonometry question solve the equation 5 5 sin x minus 3 for 0 degree is less than or greater than x and x is less than or greater than 360 degree so x is equal to sine inverse of 3 by minus 3 by 5 or you can say 3 by 5 the answer would be 36.86 we know that value of uh, angle sign is negative in the third and fourth quadrant so third quadrant should have a value like that 180 plus 36.86 so our answer would be 216.86 and for the fourth quadrant sign is also negative so we're gonna subtract 360 from 30, uh, 36.86 so 360 minus 36.86 over answer would be 323.14 degree so these are the two answer which satisfy the equation because sign is only negative in third and fourth quadrant first two quadrant sign has a positive value moving to the last two question of this paper question number 22 write uh, this top this question is from the topic of algebra write as a single fraction in the simplest form so when i'm cross multiply it 5 into 2 x minus 1 plus 4 into 3 x plus 2 it would be like that 3 x plus 2 into 2 x minus 1 5 into 2x would be 10x minus 5 4 into 3 would be 12x plus 8 uh, you don't need to solve the denominator over here 3 plus 3x plus 2 you can write 2x minus 1 10x plus 2 12x would be 22x and minus 5 plus 8 would be plus 3 so this would be our answer 22x plus 3 3x plus 2 over 2x minus 1 so this is the singlest so i'm gonna write over here 22x plus 3 3x plus 2 over 2x minus 1 now moving to question number 23 question number 23 is from the topic of probability okay bag a and bag okay now you can see bag a and bag b each contain red sweets and yellow sweets okay amna sorry anna picks a sweet at random from bag a ben picks a sweet uh, at random from the bag the probability that anna picks a red um, sweet is 2 by 5 so probability of picking the red sweet is or the anna is p r a it would be 2 by 5 the probability anna and ben both pick a yellow sweet is 1 by 10 okay then the probability for picking a yellow for anna would be 3 by 5 so you're gonna write over here and both the probability of yellow and would be 1 by 10 okay now we know that probability of yellow picking by anna multiplied by probability of yellow picking ben is equal to 1 by 10 we know that this probability of anna is 3 by 5 so we're gonna write over here 3 by 5 multiply by probability of yellow by ben it will be 1 by 10 
probability for yellow for men would be 1 by 10 multiplied by 5 over 3 this is gonna cancel with this this would be 1 by 6 if yellow uh, probability of yellow for the men is 1 by 6 then the probability for the red for Ben would be 5 by 6 okay now we need to find that both pick a red sweet so we have this probability for Ben and we have already given in the question for Anna of red so our answer would be like that I'm writing over here probability of red for Anna intersection probability of red for Ben it would be like that probability of red for Anna multiply by probability of red for B or you can simply write 2 by 5 multiply by 5 by 6 we're gonna cancel by this 5 and this would be 3 so our final answer would be 1 by 3 so probability or it would be 1 by 3 so this is how we have completed this IGCSC paper or paper 2 hopefully you have the understanding of this paper after watching this video thank you for watching this video do like subscribe my channel and share with your friends whom are giving the paper for the IGCSC maths paper or they are giving for all levels thank you for watching and allah hafiz